out at night with your headphones on again Walk through the Manhattan valleys of the dead Didn't want to be your ghost YouTube, it's Dan the Z-Man here bringing you another music review. Today I'm going to review High Violet by The National and it's been about almost a month since this, since this one came out but I've uh, let it soak in for a while and uh, I'll be uh, giving my thoughts on it today. I have the album right here. It's the uh, special edition double LP. Here's the back. And it has a gatefold, so there's some pictures. And uh, that's pretty cool. Those are only at uh, local record stores, though, so they're probably sold out by now. But if you really want it, you can go check it out on eBay. But uh, on to the music. The track I led you in with was called Anyone's Ghost. And it's probably one of the poppiest songs on the record. It's a really dark and moody record overall. And... Uh, especially compared to like Alligator. Boxer's pretty moody, but um, it had a few lighthearted moments like Apartment Story and Ada wasn't that dark. Whereas High Violet is just kind of straight across the board, almost no um, happy sounding moments. It's very mellowed out. But there are some uh, great sounds. There's a lot of great violin and strings and um, piano, like on England, that's a great piano song. And um, a lot of great lyrics, too. Um, one of the better lyrical songs that there are are um, Lemon World, which I'm going to let you listen to right now. It's got some strange lyrics, and it's almost alien, but it's really cool, and I like the way it sounds. I gave my heart to the army The only sentimental thing I could think of Cousins and cousins somewhere overseas But it'll take a better war to kill a college man like me I'm too tired to drive anywhere, anyway right now Do you care if I stay? You can put on your bathing suits And I'll try to find something on the street Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you liked that one. Once again, it was called Lemon World. Um, the, the other things that you notice about the album is it seems to get stronger as it goes on. The opening track, Terrible Love, was uh, introduced on Fallon, um, Late Night with Fallon, and uh, it was so amazing. It blew everyone out of the water. And then when it came out on the album, it was like the demo, and everything was like, kind of muddy sounding like it was all together and you couldn't make out the drums or anything and a lot of people didn't like it I think it fits the mood of the album better because it would have been too loud for the rest of the album but I still like the Fallon version better so I've, I'm kind of let down by that now and as the album goes along you see more variation in the instrumentation and the production the last half is great with um Station 16 is great, England, um, Lemon World, like I um, played, and uh, Vander Lyle Crybaby Geeks, which sounds like nothing else really on the record. It's very regal, and it, it almost reminds me of like Victorian era or something for some reason, just like people in fancy suits and dresses, maybe just because of the name Vander Lyle, but the strings especially are really great in the song, and I'm going to let you have a listen to that one. Once again, it's called Vander Lyle Cry Baby Geeks. Hanging from chandeliers Same small world At your ear Hey, hope you guys like that one. I know it's one of my uh, favorite tracks on the new record. Um, closing thoughts. I think 
after listening to this record for almost a month now, that while it really initially made me go, wow, this is probably the best thing I've heard all year, when I really compare it to Boxer and Alligator, I feel like it's a little underwhelming. There's not, it's not like where every song you go, wow, I can't wait to hear this song again and again. Like it was on Boxer for me where there was not one song that couldn't be my favorite song on any given day. There's just a few songs on this record that kind of make me go, eh, you know, when I when they come up, like Terrible Love, which is, it's hard to do when, when the first track isn't one of the best tracks. It, it's tough to get into an album for me. And some other ones like Runaway are just kind of slow and, you know, mopey. But other than those two, the rest of the album is pretty darn good. I still think this is one of the best things I've heard all year. And so for that, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10, which in my new review system is great. I don't know if it amazes me like Alligator and Boxer did, and that's the requirements for to at least get a 9. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. But overall, it's, st overall, it's still a great album. Um, to uh, play us out, I'm going to... Uh, let you listen to an extended clip of probably one of my new favorite songs on the record, Little Faith. There's just a lot of great um, build-up and great lyric lyrics in this song and a cool beginning and ending. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be back soon with more reviews, I promise. So until then, have a great day, and see you later. Don't be bitter at me. I know how you think You're waiting for Radio City to sink You'll find commiseration in everyone's eyes The storm will suck the pretty girls into the sky